Most cities are quite uh, self-aware about their uniqueness and they also think that they have unique challenges. So they keep on uh, doing customized things just for one city. But in digital realm, the fact is that uh, one city is not the market. So one city solutions tend to be small and buggy and expensive. Whereas what we would need more is to uh, use shared components, shared basic solutions, which you can then uh, modify to match your specific needs, but which would also benefit from the economics of scale, which means that similar kinds of solutions, platforms could be used in dozens of cities. For that, we would need open standards, open API, so that we can link different solutions together and better understanding in the cities that they are not alone with their challenges and they should collaborate and create networks of cities who do things together. We do believe that cities should be using systems which offer this sort of a low-level, loose connectivity, uh, shared APIs to maybe different systems, but there's a layer of interoperability to which the developer can plug their service. In order to have a small city market where companies, cities and entrepreneurs can collaborate, it's needed to have a set of common mechanisms that will enable the collaboration. We really believe in standardization, we really believe in building blocks, but we also really believe in enabling people to create from it what they really want to have. We are totally fed up with, with this vendor lock situation and we are actively also moving towards finding open solutions because that's also something that we can start to co-create on. And actually we already decided that we're going to go this way together with the, the other 10 municipalities that we cooperate with and, and, and now we are defining if you say who does what and then we share. So it really we want and we need and we have to have this openness. For, 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 for the solution that we bring. We need to survive. And I think the only way to survive is to stop being naive, open the data because the data is a source of the, the future economy and business, but make sure that we can capture enough value for our startups, but also for our traditional companies. The driven by implementation um, uh, principle is very important in, uh, in uh, OASC, and that means trying something, experiencing it, doing it, learning by doing. And that's also what we try to do with the Living Labs, with the local innovation hubs. We are trying to help cities to experiment, to try out new things. Not to think of big long-term uh, strategies, it's also important. Not just to buy innovations from companies, not just to give open data, but to become also an innovator themselves. They have to learn to innovate themselves, the cities. They have to become active. If and when we develop fireware into an open urban platform, open city platform, which is robust and modular, you can add new interfaces to it, new uh, solutions to it, it does have the chance to be uh, the, uh, maybe the Linux for smart cities or Android for smart cities, which, is, which is becomes commonplace, which com becomes the base standard for, for cities. And they can take it into use and then build on it uh, their own service offering and their own version of the platform, which will mean, then mean that we don't have the same platform everywhere, but we do have a compatible platform across cities, not in Europe, but, but all over the place. And of course, that would be a much better smart city marketplace. Uh, that would be a real marketplace. We don't have now a real marketplace. Now we have a marketplace where if I want some city to adapt my solution, I need to travel there and try to get them to modify their systems to adapt my solution. But how a proper marketplace should work is that I would know that there's a thousand cities out there and if I go there and launch my service, it will tick. That's the marketplace and that's something I think we should get and I think Fiverr could 
form the basis for that kind of a business environment. We still can, in, in the next step of uh, digitalization of the world, that is starting to happen now with the Internet of Things, I think if we, if we act now, we can still be around the table. But if we wait 10 years, Europe will not be around the digital table anymore.